I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down I'm gonna make another dead on pinpoint gas Catch myself a big old bass And another one after that Oh yeah, I got my power pole down Hi guys, Rhett McHale from the Bass College We're down here today on uh, Three Mile Pond Hi guys, Rick McHale from the Bass College. I've uh, been waiting for my boat to be fixed. Uh, the pots haven't come in, so I'll come out tonight on Toddy Pond. Uh, Hi guys, Rick McHale from the Bass College. I'm out here this morning on uh, Swan Lake over here in Swansville. Uh, Hi guys, this is Rick McHale from the Bass College. I'm on Alamusic Lake here in Orland, Maine. Uh, hey guys, Rick McHale from the Bass College. This is it. This is the final day I'll be going out fishing this uh, year, unless somebody takes me out. The boat's going up to the shop. I'm out here in Silver Lake this morning. I got a few hours. Here from the Bass College. We're out here bright and early this morning on Mesolonsky Lake. That's right outside of uh, Waterville. Ah, bad back. Look at that, guys. Now he wanted. This is a nice three mile pond. Large mouth. There we go. Another, another three and a half, probably. On the dirty jig. Now look at this tail. Well, this fish was out a little deeper. Got this one out on a black and gold rattle trap. KVD, uh, one half ounce, full carbon line. We'll go see if we can get some. Nice. Oh, now that right there is an Alamusic largemouth. Now what we, were, what we were doing is uh, we were throwing the dirty jig. And I was uh, swimming it along. And that's probably a good five pounds. Oh yeah, solid. At least. Good to get on. Healthy fish. Nice fish. Sure. Spring fishing in Maine. What do you think? That was a good one. So you probably want to buy some dirty jigs now. I guess so. I did. I was doing exactly as my buddy Rick told me. <laughs> Sun is sink and slowly reeling, and I can feel them just coming once I stiff heel there. That is a nice fish. Wow, that is a good one. I'll weigh them. But these are good five pounds. Oh. Dirty jig now, and uh, just picked up this big fish. Probably five pounds. Top the mouth where it should be. See the color of the dirty jig I'm throwing. Hey, what do you think of this one? That's what we're looking for right here. They just picked up another one uh, on the dirty jig. I think these big females have moved in on the beds. I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm down in Dead River now, and this is a hoss. Caught him on the dirty jig, swimming it. I be slowing down. Come out and slam it. And this is what I call a nice smallmouth. Eyes are turning red. Indicates to me that uh, it's getting ready. The tail doesn't look like it's been beat up too bad. All right, guy, you got the tenth fish of the day. I think we're going to quit after this one. Holy cow, look at the size of that fish. All right, I'm going to have to come help you. Pick that baby up, Drake. How was that for fish? Pretty good. There you go, Kyle. Look at that. The second four and a half pound fish of the day on a dirty jig. What a way to go. Rick McHale, we just uh, caught a nice one. Jacob did. 
It's about a two and a half, almost three pound fish. Uh, where'd you catch it on, Jake? Cinco. A Cinco? Picked up another one. This is a nice fish. You can see I got him right in the side. This fish came up and just slapped it. And that's, that's why you have to put real sharp hooks on. And that's a good three, three and a half right here. Uh, we hooked up a bait caster rod. He's going to learn how to throw it. He uh, got a dirty jig and he just caught himself a four and a half, close to five pound, nice largemouth. Now that one fought you, buddy. Nice fish. Hooked up on a top water. Nice little large mouth. Oh, that's a third fish of the day. Hey guys, we're hooked up on a fish on a rattle trap. Now this is a good example of why I put on uh, bigger hooks on this KVD. This fish came up and just slapped it. What I've done is I've uh, run to a space monkey. I'm just dragging bottom. The bullet weight. Yeah, nice, nice little fish. Okay, first fish of the day on the dirty jig. Okay, ready? Big fish. Big smallie. Oh, that's a big smallie. That is a big smallie. Gentlemen, that's a large horse of a smallmouth. Caught it on the dirty jig, Grandy Bass. And we can weigh this up, but I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's, that's four pounds. Like, oh, look at the size of that fish. Okay, here's your net behind you. That's a good three or four pound, four pound fish. Try to keep them in the water. There you go. Yeah, you got him. Okay, that is a another big smallmouth here on Swan Lake. This guy, this guy came right out. Nice fish. Another big smallmouth on Swan Lake. Nice, nice smallmouth. I was throwing the uh, KVD rattle trap. It's, uh, it's gold with the black back. Uh, half ounce, throwing it on fluorocarbon line. I wasn't catching any fish, so what I did is I decided to cover some water. And we picked up this big fat girl right here, just right full of eggs. So they're just sitting out here, and I think we were in about uh, nine foot of water, and they're just wait, waiting to come in. So, state of Maine, Swan Lake, smallmouth right there. We just picked up another fish, a nice. Nice smallie. I got it on the uh, Lucky Craft uh, pointer. Uh, another, another big smallmouth on Swan Lake. I'm gonna say that's at least three and a half. But a uh, beautiful fish. I, I was just taking that pointer. I think these fish are suspended out here off this first break, uh, getting ready to move in to spawn. And I was sticking the stick bait and it hit it right on the kill. I gave it a couple pauses. Killed it, 
and come up and slammed it. Hey guys, I'm hooked up on my first fish of the day. It's going to be on a seven inch Cinco. Oh, so got him? There we go now. I haven't seen it jump. It jumped. I haven't, I haven't seen it jump yet. It looks like a decent fish. It's like a big small mouth. It looks like a nice one. Let me get the net. Oh. I'm sitting in uh, about 20 feet of water right off the, the edge here. Yeah, that's a decent small mouth. Oh, oh, down, 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 down. Oh, baby. Well, I think I can go home now. That is a big small mouth. Listen, when I was, well, this one reacted to it. It hit it. Okay, we're hooked up on the Alabama rig. Oh, it looks like a better fish. We'll see. So that's not a bad, bad little largemouth. At least two pounds. Caught on the Alabama rig. What do you think? That's a big fish. Son. I turn around. Yeah, I just picked this fish up on a uh, dirty jig. Uh, nice four pound bass, probably three and a half to four. Four pound in 15 feet of water. Nice fish. Nice fish. Might be bigger than I thought. So I just caught that in the deep uh, pocket here, throwing the rattle trap. I was uh, throwing up towards the banks, bringing it back down into the uh, deep hole. Sure enough, this guy's already in there. A couple pounds, anyhow. A lot of weeds here, so I actually, I actually don't have braid. I have this uh, nano uh, line on here. Seems to work pretty well for me. And uh, it's a little better fish. A pound and a half. Yeah, it's a little better. I'd be closer to. what I was talking about. People are out uh, getting their boats all put away, uh, getting ready for hunting season, and usually this time of year these fish will turn on. Hey guys, just hooked onto a big fish. Might be the best one of the day. It's a nice one. There we go. Get in there. There we go. Got it on a swim jig. That's a nice fish. Nice largemouth here in Alamusic. There. That's, that's big and fat, and it's been feeding. Hey guys, you just picked up another fish. Picked him up off this wood here. So now, we're going to swing him in. That's a nice fish, though. That's a second nice fish. We might have found a few fish down here in this uh, Orland stream. It's on the other side. And uh, that's a second nice fish right here to, at the mouth of this uh, stream. I'm going to say that one goes close to four, maybe three and a half.